Hello everyone and welcome to Shimiji, the latest version that's available right now on Kokocon.com. If you head over to my website, Kokocon.com slash Shimiji, you can then hit the download now button to get the latest version of this software. Let's go over some of the most important features. The first is that this now works on 64-bit versions of Java, and therefore 64-bit versions of Windows, and any version of Windows really, or Java. You don't need to mess around with shortcuts, this will work out of the box. So if you were struggling with Shimiji before, give it a go now with this latest version that should work for you. We've also got some new usability improvements for Shimiji. If I head over here, to the allowed behaviors menu that I've added, we can also control how Shimiji are allowed to behave. If we, for example, turn off breeding slash cloning, we could prevent Doramon here from breeding should we command him to using this new, more prettier version of the menu. Here he's attempting his breeding action, but it fails. That's the power of this new option available here. We can also do the same for throwing windows around. I won't demonstrate that now, but this will prevent your Shimiji from throwing your boxes around, should that be a problem for you. This will work regardless of the XML file, it actually turns it off at the code level. Speaking of the XML, if you're an artist who works with Shimiji, you might be interested in this new change that I've added to the actions XML that you can include in your own breeding actions. This attribute here, born mascot, allows you to choose which particular Shimiji is created as a result of this breeding action. Here we've got a Pokemon example here with this Larvitar that will then split into a potentially can also split into a shiny version of a Larvitar, as you can see with the two separate split into two actions I have here. And in the behavior.xml, you can choose the, the chance that either of these happen. So this allows you to have one Shimiji giving birth to another. That's pretty much all the features of this particular version of Shimiji, but it's still a huge improvement and a new step forward in terms of support and everything else like that. If you're new to Shimiji and haven't given it a go yet, I'd encourage you to try as well as to check out the tutorial video that I have on my channel, which will step you through the process. It's still up to date. It will still work with the new version. No worries there. And speaking of the channel, I'd like to continue to make improvements to Shimiji. So if you'd like to support what I do, feel free to check out my Patreon, but also just continue to subscribe to the channel because every now and then I might just feel like throwing something in for free. We'll see. But thank you for your attention, your time, and enjoying Shimiji. I love them. You love them too. So hit that download button right now and let's get started.